Hey friends, welcome back to Acre Homestead. Today we are gonna be organizing, deep cleaning this kitchen. It might look clean and organized on the surface, but let me tell you, I have not showed you the inside of my cupboards because they are terrible and they have been bad for probably six months. Between gardening and working and all the things, my cupboards have gotten terrible. I normally keep a pretty tidy, organized kitchen, but I just wasn't able to keep up with it. Just like a lot of us, sometimes life gets in the way. And I wanna go into this new year with an organized kitchen. I'm gonna show you the inside of this and it is so bad and it is so embarrassing, but this is real life. I've done no tidying before showing you what this looks like. This is my spice cabinet here and it is just bad. So things that don't have very many spices, we're gonna put into smaller containers. This is very stressful to me. It is very difficult to get the spices I need. Here is my baking shelf, and this is really, really bad as well, and not functional right now. This is one of the worst, besides the one that is right above it, and it needs a lot of help, friends. I'm embarrassed to show you this, but this is real life. This is what we're starting with, and this is real. Moving from there, we have this very unorganized baking drawer. I have a few organizers, and these are from our last house, so if I need to go buy more, we're gonna do that. And this is my knife drawer slash just a disaster drawer. And I also want to get this drawer done. This is where I keep my utensils. Believe it or not, yesterday I went through and I organized this drawer. I like to keep my pop holders in here, and I this was completely filled with canning lids and I couldn't even close it so this is started to be organized but it's not completely finished because I'm probably going to move some of this stuff over here we will figure that out together and then above my coffee I have this cup coffee drawer and tea tea is supposed to be here and here that shelf's not really being used I need to get rid of some of these that we're not using and I have probably five or four broken cups in here that probably need to find their way not in here anymore. They're still functional, but one of, a couple of them have cracks that run down them and it's just time to get rid of them. The two main cupboards I wanna to get to is this Lazy Susan down here. One of the drawers are slats. The, it came undone and it's fallen. And so that one is terrible. Some peanut butter, I think, spilled. And the oil that oozed out is rancid so it smells bad in there and not like rotten just like rancid oil and then my cupboard right above it is also an angled cupboard but it doesn't have a lazy susan in it and it is so bad that is definitely my catch-all today we are going to conquer this i really want to take christmas down too so we're going to try to do that as well but if i don't get to that that's okay i am going to possibly go run out and buy some organizers but i don't know what i need yet at this point the way I like to do my organizing is get everything out of the cupboards, see what we have. I'm also going to be donating a ton of stuff. If I don't use it, haven't used it in the last six months, year, it's going. So let's just get started. Let's see. We should probably start up because I'm going to clean all the cupboards too and we'll work our way down so that if things are falling onto the counter, onto the floor, I'm not working the opposite direction and cleaning, if that makes sense. So let's start... I think we're going to start with this cabinet because it's one of the worst. <laughs> so wish me luck in this endeavor. I have already organized my drunk drawer and my medicine cabinet. Those were just something that I had a few, you know, 20 minutes, half an hour one morning and I decided to go ahead and do that and I'm glad I did. But these are going to take a long time. <laughs> so I have my headphones ready. If you want to know what I'm going to be listening to this entire pantry challenge, I'm going to be listening to an audiobook that if you shop through my link down in the description box. So you can check out the book that I'm reading and you can get yourself 30 days free and two free books on Audible. And if you guys have any good book recommendations for me, I would greatly appreciate that in the comment section. I'm always, always, always looking for a new book to read. I prefer nonfiction. I love memoirs, autobiographies, self-help, all that kind of stuff. So leave those down in the description box if you have any good recommendations for me. Now let's get into it. All right, let's see. We have tons of different things in here. We have spices, we have lye for soap making, just a myriad of different things that need to just come out. One thing 
This is onion powder. I mean, we have baking supplies. This is my fire cider that I started, I don't know, months and months ago. And it's totally done, which is good because I'm almost out of the stuff that I made the year before. Let's not spill that. We'll strain it together. If you want a recipe or you want to watch how I did that, there is a video. I'll link it down in the description box. Here's some more fire cider. We have butter bells. We have, oh, there's chocolate chips in here, of course. I mean, there are tons of bottles. So we'll use these bottles to fill up with our fire cider. We have our grain mill in here. You know, this could go in a completely different cupboard. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna use this cupboard for. A knife block. I mean, it's just bad. So let's empty it. I bought this because I thought it would be cute when I get chickens, I got it at Goodwill but I get way too many chickens for this cute little egg container, so this needs to go back to Goodwill. I took a pottery class in college, and I made this casserole, and it's really pretty, but I've never used it. It's fully functional. I mean, how disgusting is this? We have, I was making some preserved lemons, and they're completely rotten, so that's gonna be fun to take care of. And these are linens that my aunt got me. She's passed away now, so they are really special to me, but they're not doing any good sitting in the cupboard. So I might display them. I mean, they're really, really cute. Here's one with little flowers. These are ones that I definitely would not use to wash my hands with or anything like that. So let's take those out of there and we're gonna find a good use for those. So we got the top shelf done. Awesome. Okay, this is baking soda. Cream of tartar should not go in there. My pasta machine. I can donate these. I've had these ever since I got my really nice stainless steel utensils. I've had these in there for backup, but I haven't used them in probably two and definitely two years because we've been in this house for over two years now. So these need to be donated. I mean, what a mess. I had corn syrup spill in here, and this is part of the problem of being super disorganized, is I didn't have an area for my corn syrup to, to sit all the way standing up, so now I have a huge mess to clean. We got the first two emptied, and I mean, why do I have tea in here? This is not my tea cupboard. Do not let appearances fool you. My kitchen might look super organized in film, but this is what I've been living with and you've seen inside every cupboard now. So, you know, what you see on the outside is not always what's on the inside. So, I just want that to be a little encouragement to you that don't judge a book by its cover. <laughs> I'm trying to, as I'm taking stuff out, kind of put like things with like things. I've got spices in one area, baking goods in one area. Things that I'm thinking I'm gonna to give to Goodwill in one area. I mean, it's not perfect at this point, but that's what I'm starting to think now as I take stuff out of here. I mean, I've been looking for this for a long time. <laughs> this is amazing. This is to put on the side of a pot to strain pasta instead of having to use a whole colander. It takes up a lot less space than a dishwasher. And now I know where it is. I'm gonna link one of these. If you guys have never used one of these, they're amazing. They're amazing. But it has but it has corn syrup all over it, so it has to go in the dishwasher. I'm gonna strain the fire cider now. Fire cider is an immune boosting antioxidant top tonic, master tonic. Oh, wow. That is crazy. There's a SCOBY on that. If you've ever made kombucha, that is a SCOBY. That's not mold. That's pretty cool. Let me wash my hands so I can touch that. That is incredible. It's created a ton of scobies. That is amazing, because this is raw apple cider vinegar. So what this has in it is raw ginger, turmeric, black pepper, red pepper, Ceylon cinnamon. A SCOBY is a symbiotic relationship between yeast and bacteria, and it is what creates vinegar. This one has a lot more cinnamon in it. It smells fantastic. 
Now I'm going to bottle this up. I put it in this container because it has a little bit of a lip, so hopefully I don't spill a ton of it. A lot of people use Master Tonic as an immune boosting thing to drink in the winter. I really like to drink it in the summer when it's hot on a hot day in ice water. I have a garbage can underneath me and I'm taking this dough scraper to scrape the majority of this disgusting corn syrup and I'm going to put this in the garbage can. Ugh. We got everyone cleaned out. I'm going to spray them. This is Thieves non-toxic cleaner so I'm not worried about it being next to my food and we're gonna get all these really nice and clean, especially this one. Here's where we are now. These are my serving dishes. I'm gonna put these on the top shelf along with my pasta maker because I don't use them very much. And then I've categorized the baking goods. Not sure where we're gonna figure that out yet. My bottles, these are gonna go on the top shelf too. And here are spices. Now this is why I'm glad I'm doing this because I got this for Christmas last year. It's really cool olive oils and vinegars like this is honey, ginger, white balsamic vinegar, Japanese roasted sesame oil, espresso balsamic vinegar. My bread in the oven is done. Olive oil, wood smoked olive oil. I forgot I had these because they were stuffed up in that cupboard. So during the pantry challenge, we're gonna start using these and I'm pretty excited about it. And then I just have spices that need to find homes back here. I'm gonna try something new. This is very difficult for me to have more things on the counter, but I need to make space in my drawers. So we are gonna have a wooden spoon container and a spatula and my stainless steel containers and we'll see how that goes or how long I'll let that last for. So now that we have this cupboard completely cleaned out, we're gonna start putting stuff into it. But first, I have to get this bread out of the oven. We are gonna have chicken salad for dinner tonight with this fresh bread. If you want to see what we eat in a week, especially during this pantry challenge, I'm recording everything. I think that video will be out after this video. So subscribe so you can see all the things we eat if you're new around here. So the things that I use the least of, I'm going to put toward the back at the very top. That seems pretty logical to me. I even stacked things inside here. This is my cake plate so that it would take up less space. I have the top shelf completely filled and I have these two shelves here. I don't want to start filling or putting back this stuff until I clear out my baking shelf and my spice shelf because I'm thinking I might start putting some of that stuff in there and I'm not exactly sure what. So the next step is going to be to completely clear out the baking shelf and the spice shelf. As I'm doing this, I'm going through and I'm going to be picking things that I want to start using up in the pantry challenge like this cornmeal. I've been planning to make cornbread for a long time and it's been sitting in there and I haven't made it. So we're gonna make cornbread during this pantry challenge. And I know that I have some of the same spices and ingredients in multiple places and multiple jars. For example, honey. Um, I have a whole nother thing of honey in the other pantry, so I don't need honey in two places. And this is why I'm doing this. I just bought, you guys know, if you watch that Decorate for Christmas, I bought a bunch of corn syrup because I didn't think I had any, and I have one here. And if I'm not doing this organizational thing, I'm just going to keep, I'm throwing this honey away because it looks suspicious. And so if I don't know what I have in here, oh, another thing we're going to use up, or start working through is coconut. <laughs> we hardly ever eat coconut. I don't know why I bought this. So that's something we're gonna try to use. Um, if I have multiple things in multiple areas, I don't know what I have and things are gonna get wasted like that honey. And I don't wanna do that. I wanna make sure that I'm using up things and being a good steward of my resources, not only the food that I have, but my finances because if I'm wasting food, or letting food sit and it's going bad, then that's not being a really good steward of that. Oh, this is fire cider from last year that I didn't know I had in there. It's shelf stable, it's just vinegar, 
and I thought I was completely out, but I guess I'm not. So that's what this is about. One of my goals this year is to get better at labeling. And so you'll notice that I'm smelling things and then I'm doing that for two reasons. One, I'm just doing it to do the sniff test just to make sure things are fresh. But the other reason is, is then I can figure out what it is so that I can label it. But things like peanut butter or anything with oil in it, if I smell it and it smells off, then the oils in that probably have gone bad and those will probably get tossed. So to make some space on my counter, because this is getting a little overwhelming down here and I haven't even emptied my spice counter yet, is I know that I am gonna put my sugar that are in these amazing tubs. I love these tubs because they're so big and when you're going to scoop, you can scoop an entire cup in there, shake it off, level it off, and there's not a small mouth that's in your way. I'm gonna link these, these are my favorite. But since I know I want these easy access right here because I use them, almost every single day we are going to put them right on this bottom shelf and that's going to clear a little bit of space down here for me so that we can then figure out what we're going to put on the rest of the shelves and in the spice cabinet and in the other cabinet this has been empty for way too long this is supposed to be my whole wheat and i haven't been cooking with whole wheat flour because it's not been in this tub so if it's not in this tub and it's in my walk-in pantry, I'm just not going to use it. So I'm going to get that filled up right now and we're going to start working on putting stuff back in to the cabinet. As I'm sitting here talking to you, I think this shelf here should be for my spices like cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, cardamom, and maybe my any baking goods like baking soda and things like that. So. Let me get my whole wheat flour bin filled up and then we'll keep moving on. We are gonna tackle this. What I've been doing is I've been trying to put like things with like things so that I can condense and combine, put in containers that need to be in containers. My husband's microwaving his lunch right now, if you can hear that in the background. And this is gonna be great. And things that like this salt, I have a big um, five gallon bucket of salt. I don't need two of these in my kitchen just taking up space. So we are gonna condense here. I think what shocked me the most about doing this was how many multiples of the same thing I had. Not just I had purchased the same thing multiple times, but I would have multiple containers of, I had three different areas where I had chocolate chips and that was pretty shocking to me. So by doing this, I am able to have a better inventory in my head. I'm, I don't write things down, so probably won't write things down, but I definitely know more what I have going forward. One of my absolute favorite spices is this Penzi's roasted garlic. It is incredible. I talked about Penzi's when I was shopping with my mom. And if there's one thing you should order from Penzi's, I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever, I would highly recommend their roasted garlic. So this is tapioca starch. I have just a teeny tiny bit of cornstarch. I'm gonna combine the two because I use them in the same application and that way I don't have two containers and I can repurpose this little container. I better mark on here what this is. I just have a Sharpie. It's not like me to label things, but I need to get better at that. I don't need two baking sodas, so this one I'm gonna put in my big container out there and I'll put this one in our house and I'm gonna label this. This is buttermilk powder. And so is this, so we're gonna combine the two. I like having buttermilk powder because instead of um, when you're making biscuits and things like that, instead of having to keep fresh buttermilk on hand, which I don't use very often, if you keep the powder, it makes it really easy. I've already labeled this buttermilk powder. I also make homemade ranch seasoning with this. 
All right, the number one reason why I'm doing this is I just tasted this whole sunflower seeds and they're disgusting, they're rancid. Rancid just means when there's an oil that's gone bad, it spoils basically. And so you have to be careful with nuts and seeds and your fresh oils like avocado oil and olive oil, they'll go bad. They don't, they don't have a forever shelf life. And these are horrible. They're bitter, they're gross. And I forgot I had them. I bought them to put on salads. I love sunflower seeds on salads. But this is a complete waste of money because I don't even want to give these to my chickens. But they're terrible. Oh, they're so bitter and I can still taste the bitterness in my mouth. I went through and I've put all my spices in containers. I condensed them. I had two things of cloves. This is cloves. I did mark on the top what everything is. And right up here is where we're going to be putting our spices. Here I put my brown sugar here on the very top. That's powdered sugar because I rarely ever use powdered sugar except at Christmas time. And then chocolate chips I put up here because I don't use chocolate chips that often either. So that's what's up there. And we're going to put things like gelatin toward the back because I don't use that as often. Baking um, buttermilk I'm going to put toward the back because I don't use that as often. I have dried cranberries that I put in a container. That fits there. We're going to have that on salad tonight actually. And almond flour. And then I'm going to put my spices toward the front because I definitely use those. I'm going to put ginger toward the front because I use that more than, say, clove by itself. I just made up a bunch more pumpkin pie spice. I love having homemade pumpkin pie spice on hand. I use pumpkin pie spice all the time because it has almost all those warm spices instead of getting out all the individual ones, especially for like a pumpkin pie or even like an apple quick bread or something, just use pumpkin pie spice because it has everything in it. Cinnamon, cocoa powder, here's more cocoa powder I'm going to put in there. So where we're at is I have my baking cabinet basically put back together, but I still have all of this stuff down here and I'm kind of at that point where I was here. I'm not sure what else I want going in that cabinet, so what I think I'm going to do now is I'm going to clean out this Lazy Susan because I think some of that stuff is gonna end up in this corner one and some is gonna end up in this spice one. So I know I said I was gonna clean out that spice one, but I think we're gonna move down here. This is all clean now, and Josh fixed this so it's a lot higher. I think I'm going to put my spices on this rack because that's where I used to have them, and it was a lot more functional than this because it's a lot bigger down there, and I can and I can label the tops of them so when I look down, I can see exactly what spices they are. So now I'm going to take all of these out of here. I'm going to get all the ones that aren't packaged up. We're going to get those packaged up, and we're going to start transferring those down here. I quite honestly did not realize what a project I was getting myself into. This is long overdue. I think I'm going to set a goal to try to do this, not this, but to clean out my cupboards on a more regular basis. I think I've only done this one other time since we've been here, but not anywhere near this extent. And this has just gotten out of control. <laughs> and yeah, it's just, it's really bad. So I'm super grateful that I'm taking today to do this because I already am feeling better about the areas that I've worked on. I can tell that this is worth my time 
to do this because I'm going to enjoy being in the kitchen more. I spend a lot of time in the kitchen and I want to enjoy it. And how it's functioning right now is honestly, it's been not that enjoyable to deal with this because I keep just stuffing stuff into the cupboard and I don't want that anymore. So taking all of this down, see, this is why I need to do this because I have this huge thing of paprika and that last jar you just saw me fill was a thing of paprika from Azure Standard. And now I have a lot of paprika. So not even if I do a deep clean, I need to do an inventory probably every six months or something. I'm glad we're doing this together. I've started to put my spices down here and I'm trying to organize them based on kind of what type of spice or not necessarily what type, but I have like my green leafy spices here. We have parsley, dill, basil, rosemary, bay leaves, and oregano. And I'm going to continue with that theme here, just putting kind of the green leafy spices. I have some really big containers of some spices these are going to be my bonus ones and i'm going to put them let's see let's let's finish putting in the spices first so extra spices i'll show you what we're going to do with those we have turmeric so here i have some ranch powder mustard and then i have kind of my i don't even know what you would consider them but like coriander cumin korean red pepper flakes paprika smoked paprika i'm going to put my chili powder my wait yeah chili powder smoked paprika just regular traditional red pepper flakes and i did label all the tops so i can see what they are from looking down and this is going to be really nice i have some big things some mustard we're gonna be i need to make mustard i used to make mustard all the time and i haven't done it in a while and i bought a ton of mustard seed and a ton of mustard powder to do that and we just haven't done it yet so let's see, I'm going to put more ranch powder with ranch powder. I made a bunch of it last time I made ranch powder. I can leave that recipe down in the description box along with the video if you want to watch um, how to make your own ranch powder. Don't mind the floor. I will sweep and mop when I'm done here. But I have the things I grab really often. My vanilla here, olive oil, another type of olive oil, and my avocado oil. Those are right here because I grab them all the time. I don't spin this very often. I put some vinegar here, but I'm gonna put my other vinegars here. These are vinegars that I grab often, and that way I don't have to move this bottom lazy Susan very often. Because in the back here is where I'm gonna put my extra spices. These are some onion flakes and I grew a ton of onions. Or I shouldn't say that. I grew onions and I dried them all almost. That's not true. I froze a bunch too, but I dehydrated a bunch of onions. So those are just some store-bought ones. So I'm going to try to go through my, my home ones first. These are some home dehydrated leeks and just some other herbs. That big paprika I had that was extra and we're just putting extras down here. I just found my turmeric. My turmeric needs to go up here, kind of with the cumin and things of that nature. And this is where we are with this. I have some homegrown black beans. I'm going to be canning these up pretty soon, and I'm going to save some because we're going to grow a bunch this next year. And I have popcorn, and we still have a ton of space in here that we can fill. I decided to put my collagen powder in here for smoothies. We still have a mess in here. It's starting to look a little bit better. I have unloaded and I am starting to load the dishwasher. I think I need to take a break for dinner. This is taking me quite a bit longer than I was anticipating. I haven't even made it to the drawers really yet or my coffee mug covered. So I'm excited with the progress though, but I need to eat something. I was gifted this pepper grinder and also a salt grinder like this. It's an electric one because I had mentioned I hate twisting to crack fresh pepper and I really do hate doing that and so one of you sent me this beautiful 
gift. And the reason I haven't used it yet is because I didn't have batteries. So the batteries just came. My husband ordered them for me. So I'm going to link this down below because I'm pretty excited about it. Filled up and we're going to test it out for the first time. Let's see how you fill it. Hmm. So Josh got this all set up for me. It was quite easy to set up. And watch this. It even has a light on it. Look at that. I cannot wait to use this all the time. I'm so happy, but I'm not gonna waste this pepper. I'm gonna put it in a little container, but that works really fast too. So I'm gonna be able to get a lot of pepper out really quickly. And yeah, I'm really happy about that. I hate cracking black pepper and I like fresh pepper way better. I never ever buy the little granules. I always will grind a bunch of up in my blender and this is pretty exciting, thank you. Now we need to clean out these drawers. This is where I'm gonna to move to next. So let's get that done. This is the drawer that I was keeping all my wooden spoons and spatulas and things like that and apparently garlic and a rings and a Sharpie. So we need to clean this out. There's a bunch of coffee in here because one of our Nespresso coffee pods broke in here. This drawer is clean. Now we have to figure out what we're gonna put in here since we're not putting all of these back in here. So I think I'm gonna put my salt and my new pepper shaker in here. I have one of these for salt as well, but I don't have any coarse salt right now. So I'm gonna have to get that so I can set that up. And we have our Redmond Real salt here and maybe pot holders. Yeah, let's put pot holders in here. Yes, I'm loving this. I'm loving, loving this. Now we need to figure this drawer out. So this drawer needs quite a bit of help, even though I already worked on this drawer once today, or yesterday. What I think I want this drawer to be is lids for canning jars for once I've already opened them. My aunt gifted me these. These are amazing. I They are sealed and you get a good seal. The old ball lids that were plastic, that were white, were terrible. I hated them and I never used them, but I really like these because they have a good seal. So I'm gonna link these down below. And I need to keep some metal rings and bands in here because I do use those as well. But I don't want everything just like this because that does not stay organized. So I'm gonna have to figure out a way to organize that. I just stole these two containers from another drawer. I need to clean them out and I think I'm gonna put them in here because they fit really well that way. So we'll try that. I think that's gonna work nicely. I have my pressure canner guidebook that I got with my pressure canner and this is what I use for my times. I'm gonna stick that in the back here along with my pressure canner weight. And then I have two of these lids that you put on canning jars and you can put a straw in there. I'm gonna put those back here. A couple little rings and lids. And I think we're gonna call that drawer done. So now we need to organize these two drawers. This is the drawer that I stole the two containers from. So I have this one. Um, I may need to go buy more depending on how I decide to organize these. A few of, see this one is broken technically. That's why it wasn't in there because that's supposed to go on there like that. I've had these since our wedding. I haven't been able to find my entire set of measuring spoons in I don't even 
even know how long, so I have an entire set again. So we got this drawer done. I have my scissors. I have one more pair there in the dishwasher. Ice cream scoop, different things. This is my wine opening, wine storage things, my cocktail stuff over here, and my candy thermometer. So that is that drawer. And this drawer is looking a whole lot better. I'm super happy with it. I'm gonna have to get used to having my knives over here. I have my garlic peeling utensils and my offset spatula down there because I never use that hardly ever. My measuring spoons, really happy with that. Yes, I have four sets because I do a lot of cooking. <laughs> and then my cookie scoops. This is a tomato slicer. I put it on the bottom and then back here because this one is the one that's broken, I went ahead and I put my citrus juicers. Way back there I have a can opener. I rarely ever open cans because I do my own canning. And then I have my pastry knife because I hardly ever use that as well, but I do sometimes. So those are those two drawers. We only have one more cupboard to do and then we're done and I will show you what everything looks like. This one, I think we're gonna be able to tackle pretty easily. I'm pretty happy with the progress we've made so far. I'm getting a little bit tired. That dinner did help, but it's almost seven o'clock. This project has taken me, I think we started at 11, way, way longer than I was anticipating. So if you're gonna do this um, on your kitchen, I definitely would recommend set a day aside to do it because a good amount of time. So if you get inspired to do this yourself, just know, or instead of doing what I'm doing where I'm almost going through the whole kitchen, I'm not doing the entire thing, but mostly, I would recommend just maybe pick one drawer or one cupboard a week to do it. And then in six weeks or so, you'd have it completely done. The only reason I didn't want to do that is because these four cupboards here and that bottom one, I totally rearranged that and it would have been very, very difficult to try to do one cupboard at a time. That's why earlier I did organize my junk drawer and my prescription or like pharmacy cupboard because those didn't really have anything to do with these. But a cupboard like this, I definitely could do one off. I could have organized this by itself. But that whole section, definitely, because I totally rearranged it, would have been very difficult to do that way. So just a couple little things there. So let's get going on this one. I think you know the drill. <laughs> I think you know the drill now. We empty everything before we start putting things back in. Now, I am excited because I cleared out those two drawers down there. I'm going to be able to put these back. This should go to Goodwill. I have two big bags filled with Goodwill stuff. These are awesome. I had them up there because they didn't fit in my drawer. My mom made these for me and then one of you guys sent me some. They're a little cozy, so if you have a quilter in your family that you know, or look on Etsy, I don't know what they're called, but they're a little cozy that you put your bowl in and you stick the whole thing, you stick this and your bowl in the microwave. So when you go to take your bowl out of the microwave, it's not really hot. And since we eat a lot of leftovers around here, we do use our microwave pretty often. So these are nice. So I only had two in my drawer. But now that I organized my drawer, I'll be able to have all four of the ones I own. Actually, I have five of them down there now, so that's pretty exciting. All right, let's empty this. This is my Nespresso throth frother, frother. And it's been up there and I really enjoy using that. And now that I have more time in the mornings, I'm gonna clean that out and I'm gonna start using that again. So I have a bunch of bulk black tea. Even though I just said I'm gonna take everything out, I'm gonna start putting that up there because I know that that's there. And I put my rose petals. I don't know what I'm gonna use these for. I dehydrated these because I was gonna make soap and decorate soap with them. But you guys had mentioned to me that if you put rose petals on soap, they turn brown. So now I have all these really pretty rose petals and I think you can drink them. Oh, they smell good. Maybe I'll try tea, because I, I know you can have tea, but I do not like lavender or flowered flavored things. Hmm. Now I've just changed my mind. There's a little bit of parsley dried in there too. We have way more hydro flasks and water bottles right here than we use on a regular basis. This is oregano. This should not be in my tea cupboard. And I was looking for this the other day. My sister wanted oregano and I was gonna give her some. 
So this needs to go in the other cupboard. So I have this one box. I don't own a really nice tea box. I probably, that's something I should go look, even maybe at like Home Goods or something, they might have something like that for a pretty affordable price. But I think I'm going to take my other teas and put them in this one box because this one's almost empty. And that way I can reduce space or I can conserve space. The last thing I'm gonna have to do before I go to bed is I need to sweep and mop. My floor is a disaster. There's my ginger tea and this is dragon, spiced dragon red chai. I only have four of those. So that was taking up a lot of space in my cupboard for just four teas. Recycle these boxes. This one's really good. My realtor gave us this one. This is a Trader Joe's herbal tea. It's called Harvest Blend. This is my favorite tea, the Sleepy Time Tea. I like this during the day too. And I'll just add a packet of oolong tea or something with caffeine in it. And I drink this in the morning and at night. So I definitely want my teas here. So I'm just gonna put these back here. Well, that doesn't close now. Hmm. I'm gonna squish it. Put it like that. Oh, this is just chamomile tea. I love that too. It's incredible what a mess you can make while you're cleaning. I find that kind of ironic, but there was spices and dust and just everything coating everything. So everything needed a good wipe, a good vacuum, and this really felt like it kind of completed the whole project. We are done. I've got the kitchen clean minus there is a sink full of dirty dishes. The dishwasher has been full for quite some time, but I didn't want to turn it on until I was done. And so we're gonna turn that on and then in the morning I'll unload that and load it. And I'm gonna show you what all these cupboards look like. We did a great job, friends. I'm super excited about it. So the last cupboard we were organizing is the tea cupboard. Here are some of the homegrown teas that I grew. We have, this is fig leaf tea, raspberry leaf tea, and chamomile tea. I have videos on all of these. I'll link them down if you're interested. I now have all my coffee cups that match. Any of the broken or chipped ones are to goodwill or in the garbage can. Every one of my thermoses has a matching top and my store-bought teas are here and my tea infusers are there. At the very top, I have my like summery drink cups so I won't need those for a while. And then my bulk black tea and my rose petals. I have two things of rose petals. So friends, please let me know what I should do with those. Now down coming down here, this is what this cupboard looks like. There are lids for our jars. And back here I have my um, canning tongs, my pressure canner stuff. And I don't even know what this is. I should probably give this to Goodwill. I've never used it. Friends, let me know what this is. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's something for canning, but I've never used it. And that's that drawer. I'm super happy with that drawer. Now moving over here, I am so, 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 so happy with this drawer as well. We have our microwave cozies here. I, that sounds like a good name for them, but I don't know exactly know what they're called. And I have my, these were a gift to me. I love these. My mom gave me this one and then I was gifted these ones. They're, they were handmade for me and I absolutely love these. And in here, this was also a gift to me. Um, this is a thermometer. We have our pizza cutter in here, our salt, and another gift to me, my pepper grinder. So I'm happy with this. This is a lot more functional when I'm getting stuff out of the oven and when I'm seasoning and taking temperatures and just really happy with that. Now, what was in here, I don't know if I showed you before where that was completely filled. Almost every single thing that is in this container and half of the stuff in this container was in those drawers. They were very hard to close. 
This is typically not my style to keep stuff on the counter like this. I'm normally pretty minimal and I don't like stuff on the counter, but I think this is going to be more functional for me. It's going to be easier to grasp and then it's going to keep my drawers a lot more organized. So this one has my rubber spatulas and my stainless steel um, utensils, my microplane, my potato masher, and my big whisk. And this one has all my wooden spoons, my two Danish dough whisks, and my tongs. Coming from there, we have this cupboard, not completely done. There's hardly anything up there, just some Morton salt. I don't really use that salt. And then I have some of those oils and vinegars we need to use up. I've got my box graters. I'm gonna put a lot more bowls here. We already talked about that. We have our avocado spray and our scale. Now down here, I have, these are some of the vinegars and oils I wanna use up right away. I have some avocado spray, some measuring cups, my seasoned salt, and then these are just my store-bought season salt that were gifts to me. And then we have our mortar and pestle there. So this is just going to have a few more bowls, but that is so much more functional, I think, than what it was before. The funny thing is, when I bought this house, this is how I organized it with this cupboard with bowls and things like that. And then down here, which we will show you, is all the spices. But I don't know why I decided to move it or switch it, but at that point... I didn't have as many homegrown things and I didn't have as many bulk spices so they fit a lot better in here but it's never been functional because I never had those stackable ones and I think if I had stackable ones in smaller containers it would have been better but I buy in bulk so it's not really functional but this I think is going to be very functional for me. On the top row we have all of our spices and herbs over here mostly our herbs and we have a few seasonings that's our ranch powder seasoning some homemade fermented pepper flakes and then most of our spices are over here. So that is how that top drawer looks. I'm thrilled with it. Down here is where we have our oils. We, over here are our vinegars. We've got balsamic vinegar, black vinegar, rice vinegar. I do have a big tub in another drawer of red wine vinegar, white vinegar, and this is apple cider vinegar. And then we have some of our our bulk spices for replenishing, like our paprika, and all of them, oh, taco seasoning, mustard, and they all are labeled on the top. Well, this one says ketchup, but I know what that one is. That's oregano. I have my label maker in here, and that is that. Well, it's clean, it's not dirty, it was gross, it was so gross. It smelled like rancid peanut butter, because that's what had spilled in there. So I'm super thrilled with how that looks. I did, Kind of off camera kind of organized this cupboard it's not 100 percent done but that is something i'm going to do on a different day that is one of the ones that i can just do on a day i can finish it on a day where i don't need to do all of them now let's look at this cupboard in here i have some popcorn this is kind of actually where i put some of the things that i want to use up in this pantry challenge so i want to start going through some of the popcorn that I bought in bulk that I haven't used. We have my immersion blender. We have our batten tins for bread making. These are toothpicks for testing breads and cookies and cakes. And then here I just have some little ramekins. There's a little bit bigger ramekins right behind. Those ones, they're kind of falling over, but that's okay. And then I have some garlic in here. Moving up from there, we have our straws. This is Almond flour that I want to try to use up during this pantry challenge. Coconut that I want to work on using up during this pantry challenge. As well as nutritional yeast and raisins. And these black beans we're going to be canning up here pretty soon. And then I have back here. These are when you make freezer meals and you need your Ziploc bags to stand up straight. So that's back there. So way, way, way more user friendly. I also have here... Um, my collagen for when I make smoothies. So I'm going to try to focus on having smoothies during this challenge as well. And then up here I have my serving dishes. This is for my KitchenAid. I never use this. I maybe should get rid of it, but I can't help myself but keep it. So I'm keeping it. And my pasta maker for my KitchenAid. And these are some more flip top bottles. So I'm super happy with how that cupboard turned out. The last cupboard we have here I'm thrilled with how this is looking as well. We'll start at the top. These are the least used items that I have. Tapioca powder. This is cocoa butter. So you can make your own chocolate. You can mix cocoa butter and 
cocoa powder and you can make chocolate that's what that's for um, here are some extracts that I bought for the holidays that I never used all of my corn syrup which now I know I have chocolate chips powdered sugar I never use powdered sugar except for at the holidays and my muffin liners coming down we have our brown sugar I have my cranberries and cornmeal back there we have almond flour that we need to use and these are all my spices in front here and then behind there is where I have my buttermilk powder and my milk powder coming down we have our sugar oats whole wheat flour white flour and yeast cream of tartar baking powder baking soda peanut butter this one is almost empty this one is getting close to being oh, I guess it's not close but I smelled them they're still good I was worried they were rancid because I just found this I didn't even know I had this much peanut butter in my house they still smell fine and then we have our cocoa powder to make our Oreos well that was productive <laughs> I thought that I was gonna get to taking down the Christmas decorations not that I have a ton to take down and I was gonna be able to organize into a huge haul or not haul inventory on all my seeds that none of those things clearly happen and that's okay what we're going to be doing together next is we're going to be doing inventory on our seeds and organizing them i have come up with a way i have found i should say a way 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 better way to organize my seeds and how to figure out when i need to start my seeds indoors i also just got two huge boxes of seed starting equipment last year my seed starting setup was um it worked but it wasn't great. And I'm excited to now have a great setup so that I can have hopefully better starts going into the growing season. So we're gonna be kind of gearing toward gardening next and I'm pretty excited about that. Don't worry, we are gonna be doing a lot of cooking. We're gonna to try to make Oreos and fish crackers together and that's gonna be an adventure and I can't wait to try that and see how that goes. So if you're new around here, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed this video and you wanna watch something else, I will put up a garden video and a cooking video so you can enjoy what I cook in this kitchen and you can go see what my garden looked like last year and I'm pretty excited about this year's garden I want to say a huge thank you to every single one of you who spent time with me in my kitchen today I enjoy spending time with you and that's what makes it worth it I hope you guys are having a great day I hope this encouraged you to maybe organize a drawer or a cupboard in your own house I hope 2022 is going well for you and I can't wait to see you next time cheers friends